Well, I have a new addition to the Sega Saturn collection. This is my Model 2 Sega Saturn. You can tell the difference between the Model 1 and the Model 2 because of the round buttons. I actually do have a Model 2. It's my Japanese Saturn. And... Hold on, let me just unplug some things real quick. And you can see this is a model MK 80,000A. Bought this thing off eBay, but it didn't want to work even after I cleaned it. Yes, I actually had to clean it, but I'll get into that a little later. My Model 1, well, my two Model 1s that I have, they were made in October 1995. This one, if you look on the bottom, hold on, you can see it. It was made in September 1996. So this is a fairly newer model. But yeah, when I got this thing, whew, this was probably one of the worst Sega Saturns I've had to work on. Because it smelled like cat piss. Yeah, it was horrible. I had to clean the entire system out. I haven't cleaned the main motherboard, the main power supply, which I think is defective. But I placed a few capacitors on the uh, main board. You know, just to be on the safe side. Just a few capacitors. But however, I turned this thing on. And... Here, I'll plug it in and try to give it... Oh, oops. Didn't know I still had it on. Sorry, that's my air conditioner. Okay. Need to put the phone down for this. Oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you can see there's a lot of rust on the metal shielding. And the reason you don't see a drive there is because I tried the drive and it started going haywire when I turned the system on. So I just tossed it and plus it was already bad anyway so um, I just replaced, I'm just going to replace it. Um, but yeah, system does power on, however no video is showing. I've done some research on this, but yeah, you can see nothing is showing up on, yeah, you can see just a black screen and that's it, nothing else. That's actually a power supply problem. Here, I'll get my voltmeter out, speak of the devil, it's already out. <laughs> and we're going to measure the pins. Alright, I'm reading 4.8 volts on pin 1 and the final pin I have connected to ground. And it's still below 5 volts, so I think the power board is dead. Yeah. Wait, I wonder if there's a way I can actually freeze this, because I... Alright, you can see up there. It's reading 4 volts, so it's probably got to go.
Okay, there we go. Now I got an accurate reading. You can see it's reading 4.8 volts, so I think this board has got to go. But I've ordered a replacement power board. Don't know how well it's going to work with this, but it's worth a shot. It should be coming in today. And when it gets here, I'll put up another part in here. Alright, so I just got my new power supply. And as you can see, the parts are a little different. Alright, let's install this and see if the system decides to power on properly. Alright, we got our new power supply installed in there, so I'm just going to put the case back on to be on the safe side. Okay, so I don't think anything popped yet, so let's try it and see. Huh. Well... Might be that it needs a drive in there. Let me see if that's the issue. Alright, so hours later after I got the power supply in there, it's actually in there still. It's working okay. I can probably tell it was used. There's a little bit of yellowing on it, but eh. That's alright. But anyway, as I was digging deeper, I pulled one of the capacitors off the main motherboard. Let's see if it'll focus. Oh, wait a minute. I'll just read it out to you. It's a 4 volt 220 microfarad. There's like a couple more in there, I think. But yeah, I think I'm just going to recap this that whole board down there that the controller ports are attached to. And hopefully it'll work. Now I tried the S video cable that was connected to my VCR, but it was not showing video, but when I plugged my yellow cable in there, it was showing videos, so I think one of those capacitors had something to do with the S video. Because it would not come up again, so I think I found, found the solution to the problem. Alright, I'm going to pull off the metal shield and I'm going to let you look at the board. And then before I goof this up, you got to remember to take the um, main power supply board off and the power switch as well. Oh, that's not the only screw for the power board, by the way. There's a couple in the back of the system. You probably caught a glimpse of that. So yeah, you just got to remove those two. Oh, crap. The system's falling. I'm going to unscrew this off camera. Hold on a second. Alright, so here's what the main board looks like, and yes, the cartridge slot is pretty rusted, but I managed to clean that up. So I'm hoping that this part works. I'm hoping I don't really have to get a replacement. I already had to do that with a CD drive and the power supply. I don't really want to have to do that with anything else, except the capacitors, of course. Hang on, let me try to flash light. Let me just... As you can see, I've already replaced a few of the capacitors. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's a 4 volt, 220 microfarad, and... 
Yeah, I think that right there is a video chip. Oh, and I'm inclined to believe I may need to resolder that. Actually, I might have developed cold solder joints. I don't know. Because, like I said, a cat did piss on this thing. Here's the audio. Oh, sorry. There's the. I think that's the audio chip. If I'm correct. But yeah, I've replaced these caps right here, except for this one. I've replaced this, that capacitor. I've even replaced the capacitor that's like near the controller ports. I've got that capacitor, that capacitor, um... I mean, trying to remember which ones I got. I could just look at the um, solder joints. Okay, so. Yeah, you can see my soldering joints are not the best because I have electrical solder that. Just does high heat. And you can see I've had to reflow the solder on the AV port. We'll see if there's anything stuck in there that I might need to get out. Okay, this is going weird. Oh. Yeah, I know one of those pins has to be the ground pin. But I don't think I want to go that far right now. And can anybody in the comments tell me what these things are? What these little black chips are? Can anybody in the comments tell me what these are? Please. Because I'm a little confused at this point. Oh, and they're near the controller ports too. I did not notice until now. But yeah, I have a picture of the board downloaded. So I can actually reference that. But yeah, there's where the... Where that capacitor was that I was talking about. Oh. This one. This capacitor was in that area. So I'm trying to look for a replacement for that, but... Who knows, I might have to go a, volt, go a little voltages higher. But the microfarads have to be the same. And I might have to replace these four capacitors here. I've already got this little one. This little one I might need to replace. If you're wondering where I got these from, I got these from like my Game Gear capacitor kit. Hoping I could use them for this because they were 85 degrees Celsius but yeah there's that board revision so I'll see you guys later bye